So as far as the show and the yeah. purpose, uh, what kind of feedback have you received? Uh, I, I, to uh, the next level, to the show. It's crazy. In man. the three years, what kind of positive, negative? Uh, negativity. I think that my videos are um, getting better. When I first was doing my videos, it was more raw footage. It was like I didn't know. I was just I was practicing getting better at it, better at it. Even though they're big, big heavy hitters. Like some some interviews you're catching like dead air, dead space in there, and um, I think that I just learned from that. You know, I, I would watch my videos like, damn, I kind of messed up. Maybe I can make it better. Uh, maybe I'll add some music in the background. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. So it t it, it got me better and 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 faster, stronger. Just just got it more. Well, I mean, the what it sounds like. It sounds like you're a one man show. I am a one man show. <laughs> it sounds like you're a one man show. You're yeah. doing the interviews. You're yeah. you're posting them online. Yeah. Um, you're on the air. Yeah. You're choosing music. Yeah. You're doing the production. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of this stuff it it might. If you go to one of the major uh, radio stations, you might have to have a team, somebody right. to upload it online, somebody to do right. this, but you're doing it right. all yourself. Right, because number one, nothing gets done if you don't do it for yourself. Yeah. So if, you, if you're going to waste your time, like like something to do this, doing that, sometimes it never gets done, it, 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 lag, it lags on, and then it never gets done. I don't have time for that. I need to get it done because I have other stuff to worry about. So that's why, move, next, 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 you know what I mean? At the same time, you got to look at the budget cuts. A lot of people on radio and television are losing their jobs, okay? So now you got to look at it like, why? Because there's hungrier people like me, even younger, that can do 10 times what the older dude's doing. Yeah. And faster. Yeah. And better. Yeah. You know, so now the old dude's sitting here behind a desk just calling shots. It ain't about calling shots no more. It's about getting it done, calling the shots, doing everything, completing it, you know, and, and just doing it. So. Uh, I just decided to, you know, take everything into my own hands and just and just get it done, and not waiting for anybody. Cause I, I I'm I'm tired of waiting, you know. Yeah. Sitting there like, oh, is it done yet? I don't want to be bugging, yeah. dude, because he's supposed to be getting a song done that I was supposed to get done, and I'm I'm waiting for it, and 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 he on vacation now. Like, oh, I'm over here at Disneyland. Like, dog, I, I barely sleep. This is my life. This is what I really do. So yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time, you know. So somebody who's never heard the show before. Yeah. For anyone. Who hasn't heard the show? Yeah. Explain. I'll give a little detail. Uh, what is it about? The show. It's 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 it's, it's still ev it's still evolving as it goes along. The show is about the next level. It's about bringing all the talent, um, whatever it is. Because back when I first started, I was bringing America's best MTV's, America's best dance crews on campus. You know, and I was I was doing the interviews with them, and I'm everything dance, whatever it is. You know what I mean? If it if it's part of uh, entertainment, I'm with it. So you were the one that you were like the the middleman who really had them involved on yeah. campus, who brought them over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, well, I mean, like, I mean, like, a lot of them were participating with it, but I was the one that actually kind of excelled it. You know, like I was like, yo. I'm bringing them to the radio. Now we're doing interviews in the TV. Now we're doing, you know, boom, boom. We're doing multitasking. And what is the what the show is about? The show the show is pretty much about the next level. It's about bringing artists. You're getting interviews. You're getting interviews. You're getting um, you're getting everything. You know, you're getting you're getting pictures. You're, uh, and we're doing music. You're getting live raw original music now. As as the artists come in, we're knocking out verses in the production room. It's just everything's going down in there. You know what I mean? And uh, in a short amount of time, you yeah. know, you're getting the interview, the video, you know, the drops, the uh, commercials, promotions, everything is all done in that one hour of time. And it's uh, you're doing uh, more work in, in, in a yeah. few hours and more people do in a week. Oh, yeah, exactly. But see, because it's organization, you got to organize. If you're not organized, uh, uh, it's going to mess up. And, and preparation is key. So how is it put together? You have the radio station yeah. and the online. Yeah. So you do the show, you come on what? I go Wednesday nights, five Wednesday, nine to midnight, Sundays Sundays five to midnight. Uh, usually every Wednesday I'll keep like a, if I, if it's really important, I'll I'll put all of them in, but usually I'll just do one major guest and then and then I'll do the interview. As for Sundays, my, my format is changing slowly but surely, but then uh, for the five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, our eight guests coming in, and then from, from until midnight, I'm just mixing music, playing music, and I tweet music as I go along. So everybody that I'm playing the music, whether it's Drake, Fifty Cent, Ti, any big artist, they know I'm playing their song right here because I'm putting it on location on my Twitter. And so basically, when you're tweeting, you're tweeting your whole playlist. The whole playlist. 
So this is As the last place. song I play. Exactly. Kind of like the the websites, how they do it. Yeah. Uh, but you'll I'm, be like last song playing, current right. song playing, yes. next song or whatever. Yeah. But I am uh, I am the machine. Right. I am the one doing it. I'm tweeting them, and if I want to send them an extra message on there, they're getting that as well. You know what I mean? Right. And that's that's wonderful. And that's cool. I mean, yeah. uh, because Twitter, um, you have you can have so many tweets, right? Yeah. And they'll 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 stay unless you delete yeah. them, right? Exactly. So you could always go back and be like, on this day, I yeah. play these songs. Exactly. And you can just check it out, and you can just be like, oh wow, so he's like a mommy. digital record of a uh, playlist. The playlist, exactly. Yeah. As it goes along. As it goes so along. So as I'm playing right now, I'm playing Himes, gotta get it. Boom! Oh shoot, we play. And then, you know, you can go on the Twitter where the link's at, yeah. website right there, click on it, and boom, the song is playing right there on your phone. That's what's up. Um, so you spin mostly hip hop, hip hop and RB. Uh, uh, I do everything, uh, everything. But now, I, currently, right now, I'm hip hop director, so I'm gonna push I'm, the hip hop. Okay, line okay, okay. Right now, yeah. So you're also the hip hop director for yeah. KCRH? Currently. Currently. How long have you held that position? Just, just, just this semester. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I decided to go hard in the in the hip hop because hip hop was. Uh, 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 I was like, all right, you want to see hip hop? I'm gonna bring hip hop. <laughs> so I just started bringing everybody in hip hop, man. You know, uh, locally, majorly, yeah. And what is it like being a hip hop director? It's, the hip hop director for Shabab. It's it like? uh, it's difficult because a lot of hip hop artists are hard headed. You know, the hard head is like it's like you know uh, I got into trouble for small small things which I'm not gonna say, but um you know it's like some people don't listen you know what I mean like oh don't cuss all right you know and then someone might slip okay you know learn to be professional you know uh, uh, not everybody's professional I guess uh, not everybody's really really uh, you, you know um, you, you learn a lot as hip hop you know what I mean because a lot of people they just they're they're just uh, I'm actually breaking everybody into doing radio. Not every like I, I want to say like 80, 90 percent of my people have never been on the radio until they work with me. They're like, oh, I'm on the radio, like what? And they, so they, you know. And, well, I mean, yeah. so like, what are the responsibilities as a, as a hip hop director? Like, uh, what kind of? You know, as, as a hip hop director, I'm just coordinating the interviews, you know, and I'm just making sure that I play the music that I I, I want to promote. So if I'm playing the Jack or uh, Yuck Mouth, so whoever. So if if it's anything hip hop, it has to go through you. True that. I mean, there's other hip hop people that play hip hop music. Right, right, right. But um, as me right now, as a director, I'm just going hard and I'm bringing them to Shabbat. So that's that's my main thing right now is to bring um, live in the flesh. How would you say the show has improved from when it first started? Man, it's I uh, people take me more serious now. You know what I mean? Like I, I, the bigger artists, they probably thought I was only a semester kind of gig or something. Now they're just like, oh. He doing it, you know what I mean? Like Chabot is popping right now, so um, it, it improved because I brought I approved. Go to the next level TV.com, you're gonna see the big people that I brought here, you know what I mean? And you're like, Whoa, they're at Chabot right here, you know what I mean? And it's just crazy, so yeah, I mean, it's improved because of the, the content. Um, it kind of reminds me of Ludacris, Luda, yeah, you know, kinda, shout out to Luda. It kind of reminds me of Ludacris, you know, if yeah. you went to I f what college did he go to? Yeah. It's been a long time. I have yeah. to do my homework again. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. he ended up going to um, a radio station. A radio station. And, and he started, Chris Lover Lover. You yeah. Know? DJing. Um, so that's what that reminds me of. You yeah. know, here at Chabot is like building a foundation where yes. um, to bring people who want to come to Chabot, who's going yes. to is, is going to be an attraction like Chabot. Yes. And, you know, it's not out there but it's here and yes. we could go there anybody yeah. could come here right right you know like it's 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 uh pretty for much the common open. person you know yeah. anyone yeah it's it, not it's, like you don't got to be a celebrity yeah you know? everybody you don't have to be on vip no you, you know what i mean it, it, any pretty much my show is the opportunity right this is exactly. one thing you got to remember my show is not about judging your music it's a i already have a fan base here okay so you gotta look at like, everybody out here i do got a fan base that people do listen to my show is listen to but now it's not up to me to judge your music okay people are like why are you playing his song why are you put him on your show uh -huh. be like you know what he had drive this guy's dedicated you know what i mean he looked like he's trying to go somewhere i'm gonna slap the song and let what people think I and mean, i'm gonna tell the artist too if it's whack you know what i mean i'm not the person to judge that your song is whack I'm playing it on the radio, so if you want to be exposed like that on the radio and that's who you are and, and this is what it is, hey, let, let's do it. You know what I mean? 
I'm not the person to judge you. I'm just the opportunity. And um, that's, that leads me to my next question. Yeah. It's about the fans. It's about the people. You're pretty much just putting it out there yeah. for the people to decide. The people. Yeah. Um, how is your Twitter following? Because I, I think this plays a big part. Yeah. Your YouTube following, your Twitter following. Yeah. Um, Facebook, I guess, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, how many, do you know how many people roughly do uh, you have a lot of My people? Twitter right now, I, I think I'm like at 5,000, 5,600 right now followers, okay? okay? Uh, uh -huh. I, I've developed it from the ground up. Uh, my Bernard program director actually got me on the KCRHB. only had like 20 followers at that time. Uh -huh. I boosted it up to like 300 because I'm, I'm constantly tweeting them too. So they get it as much as the Next Level TV gets it because these are different brands. Like the Next Level TV is its own entity. Even though that I'm working it, uh -huh. it's not me, it's, it's its own. As the Next Level, I am the Next Level on Twitter. Uh, the Next Level TV is another one in Case Arch Radio. I don't know if you guys have one for like uh, Chabot Spectator. We do. Oh, you do? We so do. The Spectator. The Spectator, so check them out as well. Um, uh, uh, I was gonna say, uh, my Twitter, that's where it's at. Um, I've had a lot of following. I think the biggest one was probably uh, Keisha Cole. You know what I mean? Like I ran into her brother. Uh, he was promoting a show for Keisha Cole. I ended up at the party. He, I told her KCRH stands for Keisha Cole Radio, and then bam, she followed me on Twitter, retweeted my tweet. People started calling me from all over the world in one minute. Wow. One minute, she t retweets it. Everybody all over the world is calling me Alabama. Alaska. I'm done all over the world. Nebraska. It was crazy. They're like, I'm from Nebraska. Keisha Cole. And, I, and I'm over here at the radio like, are you serious? And then <laughs> I didn't notice that she followed me or even retweeted it uh -huh. until after the, the fact that I, that I did the interviews. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Then I, man, much love for that to, to Keisha Cole. Uh, the Outlaws, you know, E-40. Um, um, uh, I can't even. Yin Yang Twins. That's another one. You know, Yin Yang Twins. It's just like, I got love for them. I, I know, you know. Yeah. Well, I wanna. What I wanna share with you is um, maybe you could use this if you're not. It's uh, if you know anything about making numbers, Nielsen. Nielsen. Um, Nielsen is a part of SoundScan. Nielsen yeah. ratings, yeah. and that way you can see what what people like, what people don't like. Yeah. And if you can't get Nielsen, um, Twitter is a great tool yeah. because that's direct feedback from the people. Oh, okay. That's you know, so Twitter. If you have enough people following you and they know you have a show and they're watching, mm -hmm. you know they could they could respond to you right back. Wow! So it's like, and to me, it's like almost kind of like another type of uh, Nielsen. Uh, like how do you spell that? Nielsen. Yeah. N i n i l s o n. Okay. You know they 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 they've been no Nielsen has run the. They've been around for years. Oh, okay. They do the ratings. They give the number on television ratings, mm -hmm. uh, radio, uh, sound scan, how many records people wow. sold. Yeah. They've been around forever. And now, you know, with things blowing up, um, they, they're all a part of data. Yeah. Data yeah. and um, to know how to market to people. Yeah. But Twitter, but Twitter sounds like a great tool yeah. to be able to know what people like, what people don't like, yeah. and get automatic feedback yeah. if you don't yeah. have Nielsen. Yeah. So I mean that's great too. There, there's a lot of great tools out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's dope. So I have to check. That.